What is it? Uh, just wait. Something cool is gonna happen. <laughs> and welcome back to Facts or Frauds. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button, you're subscribed, and ring that bell for notifications for the next time premiere video. You can meet the live chat with everyone else and leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think. And you remember Lamont Maurice Butler L? Yeah, well, he's back in jail, and I don't think I'll be getting out anytime soon. You see, I guess one of his followers got into a traffic stop, gave him a ring on the cell phone. He came to the traffic stop armed and loaded, and this happens. Yeah, he gets out of the car, approaches the scene. It's just not the best decisions he's making. Look how he's dressed. Full militia gear, and he's approaching the officers. What do you think is gonna happen next? Dude, I have no idea what we're seeing right now, but I have a feeling it's really, really wrong. Yeah. you that's what they're doing and for those of you that want to see the entire video i'll put a link in that in the description and our friend truth science 151 has it for you and here's lamont's eight charges he's facing in court right now that's right eight charges one is resisting arrest you see that felony possession of a firearm yeah you're a felon lamont not allowed to have a firearm. Oh, oh, and also, he's held on no bond. You didn't learn anything from Jamal and Rise of the Moors in Massachusetts. You just want to start another one. Okay. Now you're behind bars and you're sending silly Moorish paperwork to the court thinking it's going to work. Uh, me, uh, for the George, people back, as well as for the, uh, the mayor, I mean, Jamal Ali. We are still in the same area, uh, in the prison war camp known as Charles County Detention Center, uh, being held hostage for profit. Cause I'm a liar! Uh, on, uh, as surety for the drawback, uh, that they have listed in the de facto, uh, Southern Judiciary case search online. Go to the, uh, Charles County, uh, State Attorney's Office. Well, the three writs of habeas corpus, which would be accompanied with the affidavit of evidence and information, as well as the writ of error. They must be out of their piss, piss, piston heads. Now, uh, Sister Nina, she has taken the office of consul and she has issued writs of habeas corpus for our release. They have been entered into the record. Um, however, I can't remember his name, but the last name is Tally, Kenny. who's acting as the administrative clerk over the de facto case, has altered the evidence and uh, tuned it to be motion request petition, which is what they do. And I believe they stamp denied. Did, did they stamp denied or they uh, issued a misrepresented instrument saying that it's uh, uh, saying denial? Not, I'm not sure. One of the other it's sisters. It's denial. 
A stamp denied. A stamp denied. Yeah. So that everyone, just to let you all know, because they've done that several other times in several other de facto cases. That's not a denial. That's called altering evidence. You can't fix stupid. And once again, thanks for hanging out with us on Facts or Frauds. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button, you're subscribed, and ring that bell for notifications. So next time from your video, you can meet a live chat with everyone else and leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think. And a huge thank you to our channel members, Robert Morley, Bandon, Andy, Chris Kelling, Pedro Wacamole, AZ Jeep Girl, Archangel Asriel, Grimble S. Reed, Sean Old Fart, Goddess of Truth, Pat's Cats, Barefoot Mike, and Nelly the Irish Wolfhound. If you'd like to become a member, just click on that join button right next to subscribe or click on the link in the description. One issue. Thank you. I appreciate you all. And if you're still hanging around watching, why not hit that subscribe button? Yeah, hit the like button. And if you'd like to support the channel, hit that thanks button. Until next time, one issue. Thank you. I'll see you soon.